For this card, I've taken some pearlised card, two different colours, um, the toppers and one set of the stackers and an insert page in A4. As you can see, I scored and folded the A4 card into an A5 and then I'm going to take the border strips that I've cut and decorate the edge of the card. And I've scored that one and folded it. I'm just going to line it up on the fold of the card and seal it round the back to make the spine of the card. Then I've taken another border strip and I'm just going to double-sided tape that just to the edge but not completely on the edge so you still see that lovely card shining through from the now back. Now to decorate the top of the card I've taken another piece of pearlised card, measured my topper which I've already laid onto some coordinating backing paper and cut it just slightly bigger. I've turned it over and as you can see from the markings I've got a piece of ribbon that measures just over half a centimetre wide. So I've gone one centimetre in all the way around the card and then from that line I've gone in another half a centimetre so you end up with a band the width of your ribbon and then where those lines cross in each corner I've drawn a diagonal line so you've got four diagonals in the corners. Now I'm going to take my craft knife and I'm just going to cut that small diagonal line And I'm going to do another cut approximately a millimetre away just so I get a small slot and then nick the top and the bottom and that should just pop out like that. So you've got a small nick, tidy that up and then do that with all four corners and you should end up with the next stage. So when you've got all four corners snipped like that. You need to take your ribbon and you want it slightly longer than the gaps from hole to hole. So if I do that as one width and a length, another length and a width. And then we're going to take all four pieces and just tie a loose knot like so. And you take the ribbon and you push one end through one slot and push the other end through like that and then just seal it with a small piece of tape on the back. Now the thing to remember don't tape it that way the way it lays. Pull it across because you're going to put another ribbon through that hole and if you've taped it that way you've blocked the hole. And if you have trouble pushing it through once you've got a ribbon in there just use the back of your craft knife and ease it through like so. And you do this all the way around the card so you've got ribbon in all four corners. centralise the knot and away you go. So that's the back of your card with the ribbon stuck on and that's the view from the front. And I'm going to take my topper, double sided tape on the back and position it in the centre, like so. And then all we've done with that is take the decoupage stackers, foam pads on the back and just line the images up. And then we've got the card that we decorated earlier. I'm going to put that towards the top. I need some double sided on the back first. I've scored and folded my insert. I've put a piece of double sided tape 
along the center of the card. And I'm just going to marry the two together. And there's your finished card.